While you are waiting six minutes for it to warm up, place the fiber optic light pad on a flat surface. Do not place the fiber optic light pad inside of a Billy Soft pad cover or Billy Soft nest at this time. Use a calibrated Billy meter that is approved for the Billy Soft 2.0. I'm using the approved Omita Medical Billy Blanket Meter 2. Take measurements on the lit side of the pad using the meter placed at points as shown on the back of the pad. So, take out your Billy Blanket 2 meter. We'll check to make sure the batteries work. Set the on-off switch to the on position. A zero adjustment is performed automatically when the switch is set to I or on. You'll see that Cal will be displayed during zero adjustment. Zero adjustment is performed electronically, so no cap is required. When zero adjustment is complete, the Cal message will disappear. Just remember, when you're doing this, make sure to keep the meter still. Do not subject the Billy Blanket Meter 2 to shocks or vibration, especially at the time of zero level adjustment, inaccurate readings may result. You'll need to install new batteries if the display window is blank or a battery mark will appear above the measured value. If you continue to use the instrument, the mark will start to blink and measurement will no longer be possible. To quickly measure the irradiance of the BillySoft, set the hold run switch to the run position. It's this round button here. The Billy Blanket Meter 2 now performs continuous irradiance measurements. To freeze the display and irradiance reading, press the Hold Run Switch push button to set it to its inward hold position. This freezes the display reading at the current spectral irradiance level. So, for the small BillySoft 2.0 pad, if I take the readings in the middle, C and D, and take the average of C and D, if it is greater than or equal to 60 microwatts per centimeter squared per nanometer, then it works. If you get less than 60, you'll want to do a full check. You check all six points and you take the average. If it is less than or equal to 39, then it's time to replace the LED in the box. If you have the large BillySoft 2.0 pad, to do the quick reading, check the center row, D, E, and F, and take the average of it. If it is greater than or equal to 40, then it's okay to use. If it's less than 40, then do the full nine point check. If the nine point check's result is less than or equal to 27, then it is time to replace the LED. Now remember, the BillySoft 2.0 unit should work fine for over 50,000 hours of use. This is an improvement over the old BillySoft phototherapy system, which would need replacement after 8,000 to 10,000 hours.